Yeah. You're home with meteorologist Tammy Sousa. Hi, Tammy. Hello, Jan. Yeah, we're not going to be dealing with uh, that heavy rain until perhaps tomorrow night, and it's not the same system. They have a different system in California. Let's take a look across Plymouth Meeting. What a beautiful start to the day. The leaves are changing. It just looks so gorgeous out there. We'll see a mix of sun and clouds out there today. Tomorrow, a big warm-up is on the way. I mean big. We're going to be into the mid, maybe even upper 70s. Some places may see record highs topple. I won't be surprised to see a few 80s in southern, and I want to say southern. Delaware, not the entire area. That is for tomorrow. We'll pay the price though because tomorrow night, throughout the evening and overnight hours, we have a severe threat with storms rolling in here, heavy rain and damaging winds possible. It was a chilly start this morning. Tobiana now up to 39, Quakertown up to 39, Kutztown you're at 41, Philadelphia at 49, Newark you're up to 50. We're looking at 55 in Brigantine and 53 in Cape May. We do have a mix of sun and clouds across the area, a little bit heavier on the cloud cover for southern. Delaware. We've also seen some sprinkles making their way through the area. We do have two systems that will be approaching. So clouds will increase today. The first system coming out of the Midwest. This moves to the north of us, and that places us in the warm sector tomorrow, getting those suddenly winds kicking the temperatures up to near record highs. The second system coming out of the Gulf, they are going to come together and they're going to merge right on top of us. And these two areas of low pressure will sort of swirl around each other and then become one big blob. Take a look. Look, this is uh, Tuesday morning, so this is tomorrow night and into the wee hours of Tuesday morning. And then we just watch this thing kind of swirl around. It kicks back some showers on Tuesday. And on Wednesday, we start to see a little break. I think that's probably the driest day of the week. And then here comes another system just in time for Thursday, Friday and Saturday. So carry the umbrellas every day next week. Now the severe threat, we're in level one right now for tomorrow. That's the green, that's the marginal risk, but they placed us in this yesterday. My experience has said whenever they do it that soon, the next level sometimes moves over our area, so we have to be very vigilant. We could be potentially looking at some strong and severe storms tomorrow night. The entire area is included in this risk at this point. Damaging winds and heavy rain, those are the biggest threats, but we cannot rule out isolated tornadoes. Here we go. Let's roll through what's going to happen today. Up to the low 60s in Philadelphia, 50s in the Lehigh Valley, a mix of sun and clouds. A few sprinkles in the Poconos later today and tonight. This is tomorrow morning. We start with some clouds. We'll see a few peaks of sun, but mainly cloudy. The winds are coming in out of the south, taking us to 76 in Philadelphia. We'll see the upper 70s to near 80 in southern Delaware. Here come the storms, 6, 7 o'clock tomorrow night. This is 10 o'clock tomorrow night, moving from the Lehigh Valley to Philadelphia by about midnight, then into South Jersey. This is 2 o'clock in the morning. Morning, clearing out by sunrise with showers to follow. But we really have to pay attention tomorrow. That's why I've outlined tomorrow with those evening storms. 62 today, 76 tomorrow. Then we drop back into the 60s, even the 50s by Wednesday with a chance of showers every day, I think, but Wednesday. Jan? All right, Tammy, thank you. Well, it's